Hi everybody, I got a new knife in the mail today and there were no reviews on it online. I was trying to research it and there is nothing about it because it's pretty new. Um, it is the Makusta 191C. I have never heard of the brand Makusta until a few weeks ago. Um, and when I started learning more about the company, uh, I, was, I fell in love with their designs. They basically combine classic Japanese aesthetics with uh, modern technology. So this is what it came with uh let's see here oh show that in a second and that is the knife and so there's no locking mechanism you'll see right away that it is wood scales and there's different color schemes this one is red and black and it feels really nice like i said there's no lock on it uh, metal liners the weight's okay um, and to open it you just pull down this lever and it locks into place now it's not actually a lock it's just a uh, I think it's like a ball bearing that's just holding it in place so you can put a little bit of tension on it but not much see it folds quite easily I just push down and there we go and that is the knife it's pretty awesome um, as soon as I saw the pictures of this thing online, I'm like, oh, that looks awesome. And so I store, I tried it out at the store. I just wanted to see what it looked like in person and it held, I held it and it felt great in the hand and the steel itself. So this is made in Japan in Seki, Japan, and it's made out of VG10 and I've, I'm a big fan of VG10. I have my, one of my favorite knives is out of the same steel. I can get a really sharp edge on it and it is quite resistant to rust. And so I thought this would make a fantastic gentleman's folder. It does not look tactical, it looks pretty classy. And you guys can see the... Out of the box, this thing is razor sharp. Oh, losing some focus there. It comes with this little uh, stand, this little plastic piece here. And all you do is you rest this part of the blade on it. And you can have it displayed on a shelf or something. It's definitely a display piece. I'm gonna use it, uh, I'm gonna carry it around. This thing is definitely not for this is definitely an EDC, um, opening boxes, food prep. Looks gorgeous. I uh, also, you guys already know that I'm a fan of the Japanese aesthetic. Uh, this thing actually looks pretty good <laughs> with my um, Nakaya fountain pen. Same red and black scheme. I guess uh, now you'd want to compare it to other knives. In terms of size, it's it's not small, that's for sure. It's a fairly decent sized knife. Um, here it is next to my Buck 110. Now the Buck 110 is a beast. It's really heavy and it's... Oh, that's my cuckoo clock. Anyway, so you can see that there. Let's see. Uh, Spyderco Paramilitary 2. Also a big knife, it's still smaller than that. Uh, this has been pretty much my everyday carry for a while now. This is my Benchmade 585. And I think it is longer than that. Yep, uh, Open L7. This thing is super sharp. Really impressed with this thing. Um, that would be my other gentleman's folder. Comparable. So I guess you might say that this is close to an open L number eight. 
Let's move this out of the way. Um, Kershaw Chill. Similar. And this is my other VG10 knife, which I love as an EDC. My Spyderco Dragonfly 2. This is a fantastic knife. Obviously the smallest of the bunch. But yeah, no pocket clip. So you definitely be having to carry this in a pocket. Um, I got it off of eBay uh, for a bit cheaper than it was at the store. Now, if you buy it at the store officially, it comes with this little uh, kimono sheath, kind of like the one that goes with my pen. Um, I didn't care much for it. It would just kind of get in the way if I was carrying this around. So I opted to buy it from a reputable seller online, but it doesn't come with the sheath. It does come with that little knife stand, but that's about it. Also today I was just cutting random stuff with it to see how this thing is. And it is, if I didn't already say it, it is ridiculously sharp right out of the box. Anyway, that's my review of the Makusta 191C.